Hello, in this video we're going to look at how to calculate the PASH index using three years of data. The PASH price index is a price index that measures the cost of purchasing a given year's basket of goods relative to its cost at base year prices. Here is the formula. Current cost of a given year's basket divided by the base year cost of a given year's basket all multiplied by 100. Unlike the consumer price index, the denominator is different for each year. So here's our data. We have three goods, price and quantity for each year. Year one will be our base year. So in year one, we're going to calculate the PASH index, the current cost of a given year's basket divided by the base year cost of the given year's basket. So our numerator here, the current cost of the given year's basket in year one is going to be 1 times 10 plus 2 times 20 plus 4 times 15. And since year one is the base year, the denominator will be the exact same calculation. So the base year cost, so the base year price, 1 times 10 plus 2 times 20 plus 4 times 15. And so our numerator and denominator here will be the same, 110 divided by 110, all multiplied by 100. We just get 100. For year two, the current cost of the given year's basket in year two, we're going to take the $1.25, multiply it by 12, the $2.50, multiply it by 25, and then take this $4 and multiply it by 20. That is our calculation in the numerator. So the current year cost of the given year's basket. In the denominator, we're going to take the base year cost of year two's basket. So our given year's basket here is year two and year two. So it's going to be $1 times 12, $2 times 25, and then $4 times 20. So adding up that, uh, we get our calculation in the denominator. So we get 157.5 divided by 142, all multiplied by 100. We get an index number of 111 in year two. Let's move on to year three. So in year three, the numerator, the current cost of that given year's basket, year three ba year's three's basket, $1.30 times 14, $2.40 times 30, and finally 5 times 25. And for the denominator, we're going to use the base year prices and multiply it by year 3 quantities. So 1 times 14, then 2 times 30, and then 4 times 25. Doing the math here, we get 215.2 divided by 174, all multiplied by 100. So the year 3 index number is 124. And now let's calculate the inflation rate in year two and in year three. So here is our price indices for each year. So the inflation rate in year two is going to be the percentage change as we go from 100 to 111, given by the following formula here. So inflation in year two is 11%. And the inflation rate in year three is almost 12%. So the percentage change as we go from 111 to 124 do the following calculation, and we again get about a 12% inflation rate for year three. Okay, that's my example. 